Hi, welcome to Mission Healthy Living. This is part of a series of webisodes on the health benefits of gardening. My name is Beth Trapani, and this webisode is brought to you by the Pottstown Area Health and Wellness Foundation. And today we're gonna to be talking about the health benefits of growing your own garden and having your own fresh fruits and vegetables to eat. And with us today, we have Gretchen Lee, who is a master gardener certification from Penn State University. And Gretchen, you've been in the community for years and years. You live on a farm, right. you garden yourself, and you're an interior designer by trade. Right. And Gretchen is here today to teach us a little bit about gardening. So, so let's start out, why would somebody want to plant a garden for food to eat themselves? Well, it's funny, I was reading an article, actually it was Organic Gardening Magazine, and they listed some reasons to start a garden and I thought it was quite interesting. They weren't quite the reasons I would have thought of first. But one was, if you want your children to eat vegetables, grow a garden with them. Absolutely. Another one Absolutely. was, I thought it was cute, if you wanted a project to do with a sulky teenager, plant a garden with them. But It's fun. It's, Everybody likes to see things grow. Everybody likes to have that experience of you know, watching things sprout right. and watching things Well, develop. it's something you can kind of do together. One person's in one row, the other person's in the other row. <clears throat> I remember doing it with my dad. It was, it was a cute relationship. But <clears throat> one of the more practical reasons is, and why do I do it, is so I can have the vegetables that I want that are the freshest, you know, and not being uh, grown for long shelf life, Sure. not being grown because they ship well and many of the vegetables that you get in the supermarket are grown for those purposes right well i can grow something that all i care is about the flavor i go out there and i pick it and i eat it right so right. and then in the seed catalogs there's so many different varieties that i'm reading i'm now reading my seed catalog like succulent uh, tomatoes with a basset uh, a balance between acid and sugar and it's like i don't know which one to pick but then it's fun, and then when I do grow them, I like to see if they're as good as the um, magazine says. As they says, yeah. uh, say that they're going to be. And every, I think everybody has experienced that, whether it's been from your own garden yeah. or whether you go to a friend's house. Nothing like a garden fresh yeah. tomato yeah. or some other vegetables. Yeah. And I know myself as, as a mom of two small children that they love to pick, they yeah. love to watch it, they love to watch it grow. Um, <coughs> how about somebody who would say, I can just go to the farmer's market, too much work. Does it really have to be a lot of work? Oh, you're asking the wrong person. I've now made it a lot of work just because I have so much. So much. How but about somebody no, who it wanted doesn't. to? It yeah. doesn't. You can just grow it <clears throat> in a pot on your stoop. It can be. But <clears throat> the biggest problem is that most people plant more than they can take care of or more than they're going to eat. Okay. I'm very guilty. Okay. All right. But, so it can be as simple <clears throat> as one little tomato plant. Um, couple seeds or you can have a plot in yeah, the yard. Right. How, how would you recommend somebody somebody start if they if they wanted to maybe do something a little more adventuresome than a little container garden on their stoop or on their right. deck? What if they had a, a small piece of land and they wanted to start with some seeds? Can, can you tell us how you would do that? Yes, I mean that's what I did. Um, first of all you try to find a spot that you gets enough sun. You okay. are very good about sun. And then you check the soil conditions. You can always change them, and change them, and make them better. But you want it to have nice drainage. You don't want water to sit there. Okay. Is so that, you don't want anything that's too soggy. Are we talking yeah. about doing pH tests or things you like that? You don't have to. Okay. I have. I mean, if something's not growing well, then I try to diagnose it. Okay. But I would say basically the soil's probably pretty good around here. And if you put compost in it, that kind of balances the pH. And if someone doesn't understand what pH is, it's how acid the soil is or how alkaline. Okay. And different vegetables, um, like blueberries, for example, like an acid soil because then it, the nutrients in the soil are more accessible to them. Right, right. You know, okay. it, it's a chemical thing. What, what kinds of um, vegetables or fruit would we start from seeds? Okay, they, you, okay green beans, um, you can start basil. I like to start it ahead so that I can put it out earlier and get a bigger bush by the end of the year. But green beans, corn, squash, Can I grow corn in my backyard yes. or do I need like serious land for no, corn? No, you don't anymore. There's one called On the Deck and I got it for my daughter who lives in New York City because she's wow. little boys. So, and I actually tried it and it's very good. It's, you grow it in a pot 
and you grow your and it grows. I, I guess you're thinking because of cross pollination, but right. they've now been hybrid enough that we can grow different vegetables um, with not all the same needs that they used to have. Okay, all right. How about specific uh, fruits or vegetables that we want to be sure that we grow from a plant as opposed to from seeds? Okay, tomatoes, you really, if you're not starting your uh, tomato seeds ahead of time, like I do, then you need to buy the plant from the nursery because they, don't, they need a longer growing season. Okay. T tell us what you brought here today. You have some examples of some things. Okay, these you can tell I've obviously reused many, many times. Um, I like to start, you know, my t different tomatoes and different herbs that maybe I can't buy at the nursery. So what I do is, and at this time of year, actually, I should be starting begonias from seed. That's something new I'm going to try. The seeds are so small you can't see them. But so what I do is this is a little, lot of, you can probably buy them at Home Depot too. I think I got them from Burpees or Parks. But this is the little tray. And then this is so I don't have to water them all the time. And this stands up above like that. And this is a little mat that wicks the water. So you put the water in the bottom, you get the little mat wet, you put moist um, soil that's used that you buy that's for starting seedlings. It's a very lightweight. Put the moist soil in there. You read your seed packet about how deep to plant them. You plant them. And then if you put this over, it keeps the humidity in. So fortunately, part of my kitchen has a radiant floor that has a bottom heat. So my kitchen, oh, starting this time till about May, gets a little cluttered. But <laughs> it becomes a garden. Yeah, but I, I put these on the, on the heated floor. You can put them in a warm windowsill. Okay. You can put them on a radiator. They just like some nice bottom heat. And then once they start sprouting, you take this off because you don't want too much moisture. And then you let them grow. If, they, if you have three or four in there, you don't want them to crowd themselves out, so you pinch, you put, pinch them away so you have one or two plants in each little cubby hole. And then it's best to put them under grow lights. I mean, you could put them on a sunny windowsill. But my grow lights are better, which are just fluorescent lights that I just keep raising as they get tall. If, if, you, don't, if you don't want to go through the work, I'm going oh, yeah. to say, of doing that, and you just wanted to plant seeds in the backyard, yeah. does that work? You can yes, do you that? can. With beans, with cucumbers, with squash, uh, the peppers, you have to get the plants or start them yourself. Okay. The ones that need a longer growing season, you either start yourself or buy at the nursery. What would you say to somebody who says, I have a black thumb, nothing I grow works? What, what, what should somebody think about? Is it, are they not weeding? Are they not watering? What are some of the common mistakes? Well, I have to ask them what they do. Okay. Um, Overwatering is one of the biggest mistakes because you're drowning the plant. The plant needs to be able to get oxygen. So if those roots are wet all the time, and that's where they're getting a lot of their nutrients, it's, um, they'll die. Gretchen, how about pests? How about the bugs and the voles and all the things that, that come and eat up our garden? Well, you do get them. Um, we're very lucky. We have dogs, which I think discourages the deer. Okay. And also the farmer right beside us has a lot of corn. So I think maybe the deer hang out there. Um, <clears throat> we did have birds pull up little seedlings once. I replanted them. Um, um, bugs. Sprays. Yeah, some sprays. sprays. I use to insecticidal use. soap or I use neem oil. Okay. But the, the thing is, what makes organic, and that's organic spray, gardening more um, labor intensive, is that once it rains, the chemicals are gone. And if you've sprayed the little bugs, then they'll die. But little bugs that come along and eat the plant later will not die. All of this sounds like an awful lot of work. But someone like you would say to me, you know what, beyond the, the health benefits yeah. of nothing like the fresh fruits or vegetables yeah. to eat, how about the mental benefits of all of this? <clears throat> you know, I think that's the reason I do it. Uh, it's the pace of gardening I love so much. First of all, it gets you out there in the spring. It's a reason to get outside, other than just laying in the sun. But, and it gets you outside. I love the smell of the warm earth. 
Um, you hear the birds. It's just the whole atmosphere. Takes us back to our roots. That's it does. Great. It's very okay. relaxing. Super. Gretchen, thank you so much for your time. We hope everybody will go out and try a garden. Again, this has been Mission Healthy Living, sponsored by the Pottstown Health and Wellness Foundation. And you can find us online at missionhealthyliving.org.